Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to talk about my top five favorite PlayStation 2 games. And to be honest, guys, I was very. I jumped really late on the PlayStation 2 bandwagon. I really didn't get my PlayStation 2 until the really small, thin ones came out. But, um. So I didn't really have that many games, but, you know, I'm gonna talk about some that my brother had. And the first one. Metal Gear Solid 2. I should say at number 5. And um, this game, I remember this was the first game that I, I saw on the PlayStation 2 that made me say, wow. I mean, that looks incredible because all the games up to that point looked alright. They looked pretty good. They, they looked a little better than PlayStation 1, but this one, I think, was the first one that really showed off what it could do. I mean, I remember when I saw, because the first game looked good for the PlayStation 1, but I mean, it, I mean, I've seen better looking games, but when the first time I saw pictures of Snake walking around, like, just, I think, on a boat, like, that first level when you're on the boat, I was just like, holy shit. I mean, that looks incredible. I mean, that looks beyond what I ever thought, you know, graphics in a game could look like. I mean, I mean, look where we are now. I mean, it's funny, but it's just, I, I just couldn't believe it. Um, they really stepped it up. Uh, I mean, it was kind of the same as the first one, gameplay-wise, but it was just like, graphic-wise, it just made it feel like a totally, completely game, like, completely different game. It's just, um, it, the same thing applied as the, the first one, you know, you kind of walk around, you don't really want to walk in front of somebody, you want to, you know, sneak around and, and choke out people, but the graphs were great. Um, the only thing that was a little bit weird was, I remember halfway through the game, you played as this guy named Raiden, and I think a lot of people were like, what? That's stupid, but... I, I mean, I didn't really have too too much a problem with it. I mean, uh, it, it wasn't like my favorite game ever, and it wasn't like, oh my god, I have to play Snake or else I'm gonna be pissed. But it was a little different. But it, it was cool. It changed things up a bit. But um, that was my number five. I don't really have much else to say, just because it was so long ago that I played it and beat it. But that's all I gotta say about that. At number four, we're gonna go with this series that. Uh, I've loved. Um, I haven't necessarily played all of them. I've played a, quite a few of them, and I've only beaten like maybe two or three of them. And it's Final Fantasy X, and I believe this was um, was it the first one on the PS2? I think it was the first one on the PS on the PS2, and I could be wrong though. But this one was stunning. I mean. The Final Fantasy games to me are so much fun just because it's one of those games that will take you like three months, four months, five months to beat. Just because it's one of those games where you want to level up your characters so you just basically want to walk around fighting people just so you can boost up your stats so when you fight bosses it won't be as hard. And it's just fun because those games I always like listen to CDs. I would always just pop in a CD that I needed to listen to or I wanted to listen to. And I would just play in the background while I, while I played this game. And I have so many memories of this game by doing that. Um, but it's fun. Like I, Those games are, are, are seriously um, they're worth the money that you pay for because you end up playing them forever. And the graphics in this game was stunning. Um, the characters were great. The cuts. This game's known for cutscenes. Like when the, when the cutscenes start, it's like a movie. You know, you're just sitting there for like some of them run like four or five minutes, and you're just sitting there, you're just like, man, it's like TV. It's so awesome. Um, the characters were, like I said, pretty cool. Um, I don't have the game with me right now, but I, I just I just remember having a blast playing this game. It's just, uh, which has me super 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 excited for the new one, uh, and it looks extremely amazing. But that's a different story. But this game was fun as hell. I actually beat. I'm pretty sure I beat it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did, and it was just a blast. And that was number four. And number three is a series, I didn't pick one specific game, but this series was amazing, and it's the Guitar Hero series. Um, I have Guitar Hero 1, and I have the 80s edition, and the funny thing about this game, I, I would always see people talk about it, and I would always see it at Best Buy, and I remember every time I go to Best Buy, I'd be playing it, and, hold on for a second. So yeah, I'd be at Best Buy and I'd have the guitar like this and I I would play and I would just hit this and I'm like, why is it not working? I suck at this game. 
and it didn't even I didn't even realize that duh you have to strum too so up until that point I always thought this game was stupid because it didn't make any sense to me then once I figured out oh and I play guitar and once I realized that I was like oh my god I see why everybody loves it and I remember I finally got it for uh, one Christmas I don't remember which one it was but I'd gotten Guitar Hero 2 which I had sold but it was just amazing it was just like playing guitar but but easier and it's just you felt awesome after playing the songs I mean when you finish the song you just felt like man I'm a rock star it's just it, it's insane and it's just it just led me up to this point where now I have Guitar Hero 5 and I and I have um, Rock Band 2 it's just I, these are like my favorite type of games now because of it um, it's just, you know, now you get to play all the songs that you always wanted to play, but you really couldn't. It's just awesome. It's just a, an amazing thing. And it's basically taking over video games now. It's basically the best, one of the hottest things in video games. It's just, and the downloadable content that comes out every week is just a, a brilliant idea. It's just, I love this game. Um, I loved this one just because it had a lot, um, a lot more songs that I liked. And I love the 80s because I'm a huge 80s buff and... I wish there, I mean I wish there was a lot more one-hit wonders on this, but it was a lot of hair metal bands. But for the most part, the Guitar Hero series was awesome, and I'm gonna rank it at number three. Number two is another series that really changed video games. And it's the Grand Theft Auto series, but I'm gonna go with um, San Andreas just because right, this is the one I have right now. But this game took. Um, the sandbox thing to a whole new level. I mean, this game is huge. I didn't. It didn't necessarily have the best graphics, but it was just these. These all are also one of my favorite type of games because it's so much fun. You could just walk around and do whatever the hell you want to do. You could just beat up random people if you wanted to. And this game also would take a really long time. You'd feel like it was really worth the money because there's so much to do. Uh, it's it's kind of like an RPG where like in this one you could like build up your character's muscle and. You know, you could work out if you wanted to, or you could just eat and get fat. It's just crazy. Um, the the story was amazing. It's super fun. It's, it's like Boys in the Hood. And um, you have all these different characters, and you have to do stuff for them. And each one has, like, like ten different missions for you to do. And then there's side missions, and it's just... You can go on forever. It's just so great. Um, this really changed video games. I mean, it was graphic. I mean... Like I said, you could just go and beat the shit out of people if you wanted to. It's just things you could do in this game you, you really couldn't do in the past. And it, it's just a blast. I mean, these games are super, super, super fun. And, um, of course, stealing cars and all that junk. It's just a great, great game. Um, this one was probably my favorite just because of the cursing and, you know, because it's, you know, one of the... Because it's in the hood and it's like it's like more gangster. It's just you get that raw dialogue. It's just amazing, it's super fun. You should definitely. I'm sure everybody's already played this game, but amazing. At number one is an, a series that I loved from the PlayStation One, and it's just amazing, amazing, amazing series. Just also another one that kind of changed the whole genre of video games. Uh, the horror the survival. Resident Evil 4. This one, the thing is about this one, um, all the games prior to this one were kind of, kind of same, kind of similar, 2D, but like, amazing graphics and very linear. And this one's linear too, but this one's the first one that kind of changed it a little bit. This one's the first 3D one, and this one had the over-the-shoulder view, and amazing, brilliant idea, so much fun. This one, uh, this one wasn't really zombies, but more like... They kind of were, but they kind of weren't. But this one was incredible, incredible game. Um, fun, exciting, uh, great story, graphics, amazing. Um, this game was so good that I bought it, sold it, and rebought it again, and I haven't opened it. Brand new. I bought this like four years ago, and I haven't even opened it. But just, I just wanted to have it because it was so good. You have to pick this up. Thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. I know I said it all before, but you don't